Welcome back. Check this out. This was the line, the massive line yesterday at Moyne High. Moyne Train Hall in Midtown. Just before the last batch of official eclipse glasses were given away there. Look at all those people. Oh, look how thrilled they are to be standing yeah. in that line. As you can see, yeah. people well aware of the importance of having proper eye protection to view the eclipse. But counterfeits are also taking advantage of that knowledge and selling fake glasses which could leave the buyer with eyes vulnerable to serious eye damage. Oh, wow. Um, Nina is here now with some solar eclipse glasses. Hard to get your hands on those right it's like now. Gold, right? They yeah. are like gold. Um, and we've seen them I being sold. She's been looking for them all day. Yep. Um, for each. They're being sold, and we just want to be aware and make sure that they're legit, right? I'm going to give you this one. Okay. Yes, because there will be a test after this, guys. Oh. So <laughs> pay attention when we hear from the doctor. Okay. The glasses have been on sale. You guys have been telling everyone where to get them yeah. free. Um, but we got these uh, these from B and H. They were $2.99. For a pack of four, oh. the 7-Eleven ones, which you have, Danny, mm -hmm. they were two ninety nine each, so quite a price That's difference expensive. there. Yeah. Um, so as I said, pay attention to the doctor okay. on how to protect your eyeballs, and then we'll have some questions after. Okay. Okay. So we're here in New Jersey Eye and Ear in Englewood, and we're going to take our glasses right in here and ask an ophthalmologist if these are safe. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Hi, Hi doctor. How are you today? This is Dr. Eni Oyenarin. She is an ophthalmologist. With these glasses, what you want to look for specifically is um, that it meets the international standard for the filter. So specifically, you want to look for um, a label that says ISO 12312-2. And so this is a number that indicates that it's the appropriate filter for the eclipse. Um, additionally, when you're looking at the glasses, you want to, one, just make sure there's no signs of damage. Mm -hmm. um, and then you want to make sure that when you actually look through the glasses that everything looks pretty dim or very dark. Um, if you're able to look through the glasses kind of on a normal day or indoors and you can see well, then most likely it's not the appropriate glasses. Um, these glasses are very, very dark when I look through them, so that's a good sign that they're most likely appropriate. Um, however, I would still go on the American Astronomical Society website just to confirm that this is from an appropriate um, manufacturer or vendor, as sometimes there can be counterfeit glasses as well. If we were to look at the sun directly even during the partial eclipse, um, there's a high risk of causing something called solar retinopathy. Fortunately, the retina doesn't actually have any pain receptor, so this is not something you would feel, um, but it could cause damage that leads to partial vision loss or even more significant vision loss that could be irreversible. Okay, and you yeah. don't want that. So you no. guys are looking at your glasses, and you yes. were so studious. Yeah. They were so good. Yeah. You guys are the was, best anchors ever. Thank you. You're looking and talking to us do in yours, our ears, so I didn't hear the last part. Okay, don't do test you, me on that. Do, did you, do you, <laughs> does yours have the, the code? Yeah. ISO 12312-2. That's mm -hmm. exactly what you want to look for, yeah. right? Took and you second to find it, but I very good. It. And then you have this other. Does yours, Mike, have that little certification? It does, right here on the end. Okay. Yeah, ISO. Great. That's two things you want to look look for. And as a doctor said, if you have blurred vision, distorted vision, or maybe spots, mm -hmm. even hours or days after you looked up and maybe didn't protect your eyes as well, that's a sign that you um, have some retinal damage. So you should be careful. Oh, that's good. I also found it interesting yes. that you should use your iPhone behind the glasses too, because it could yes. impact your lens, right? Definitely. That's yeah. a good way to test and see. You shouldn't be able to really see anything through these at all. You can't. Not like even. It's total it's blackout. So jarring. Like yep. you're like Lights are bright in like here. You said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can't see anything. Thank you, Nina. All right, have fun. So helpful.